For years, California has been suffering from devastating droughts that have threatened the livelihoods of its residents, and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, floods ravaged the state. Two natural disasters, two extremes. But what if I told you that there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon? What if I told you that California's new $4 billion mega reservoir could be the solution we've been waiting for? You may be thinking, is it another solution? Another pipe dream? California has been searching for answers to its water woes for years. What makes this one any different? Well, let me tell you, this is no ordinary solution. This is a game changer. Keep watching to confirm that by yourself. In this video, we're going to explore everything you need to know about California's new $4 billion mega reservoir. From its innovative technology to the potential impacts it will have on the state's water supply, we'll cover it all. But first, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more videos on the latest trends happening around the world. Now, let's dive in. Let's take you back to California in the 1800s. Before 1848, the state was a pristine land with no major settlements, just some missions and ranches scattered along the coast. The streams were wild and free, and during the wet seasons, the land became wetlands filled with all sorts of wildlife. But then, something magical happened. Gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill, and people from all over the world dubbed the 49ers flocked to California to strike it rich. And friends, this did change the state's natural landscape. They built hundreds of miles of flumes and ditches to divert water so they could find gold. As time went on, the gold became harder to find, and the miners got frustrated. So, they turned to farming, using California's vast aquifers to irrigate their crops. And then, cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles started to boom, so water systems were built to bring water to these urban areas. In 1873, President Ulysses S. Grant commissioned Colonel B. S. Alexander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to conduct the first investigation of California's water resources. Alexander's report recommended systematic development of the Sierra watersheds to meet the Central Valley's irrigation needs. In 1878, the State Engineer's Office was established, and William Hammond Hall conducted an extensive study on drainage, river channels, flood control, and navigation improvements. Hall's report contained detailed maps, data on climate, geography, geology, hydrology, soil profiles, well inventories, irrigation practices, and a permanent system of more than 200 stream gauges. Overall, his findings concurred with the Alexander report that the waters of the Central Valley should be developed for the benefit of the state. In 1919, Lieutenant Robert B. Marshall of the U.S. Geological Survey proposed the idea of a statewide water development project, which involved transporting water from the Sacramento River system to Southern California. In 1931, state engineer Edward Hyatt introduced the state water plant, which identified the necessary facilities and means to accomplish the water transfer. The plan was authorized by the Central Valley Act of 1933 and funded by a $170 million bond act. However, due to the unmarketable revenue bonds during the Great Depression, the federal government took over the project as a public works project in 1935. Did you know that since then, California has built over 1,000 dams to manage water and prevent floods? These reservoirs collect water during wet seasons and release it during dry periods, which helps in a state like California that experiences wild swings between drought and floods. However, dams can have negative impacts on both humans and the environment. For example, dams can fragment habitats and cause harm to migratory fish populations. To address these concerns, California's state and local agencies have come up with a new kind of reservoir called the Sites Reservoir. The Sites Reservoir. This reservoir will be located off-river in a grassy valley about 80 miles from Sacramento. The Sites Reservoir will divert water from the Sacramento River during high flow conditions and pump it into the reservoir. The great news is that this reservoir will be among the largest in California. Not only will it help manage water more efficiently, but it will also limit the impact on aquatic habitats, which will serve as a win-win for everyone. It's been in the works for over 40 years, but things are finally picking up steam since the approval of Prop 1. With a whopping $2.7 billion in funding, this remote corner of the western Sacramento Valley is about to get a major upgrade. The acquisition of water rights, permitting, and environmental review are all still in the works. The good news is, once it's finished, Sites Reservoir will be a game changer. With the capacity to store up to 1.5 million acre feet of Sacramento River water, it could provide much needed relief to more than 24 million people mostly in Southern California and 500,000 acres of Central Valley farmland during dry spells. And with a new projected cost of $4.4 billion funded in part by Prop 1 and federal loans, it's sure to be worth the wait. Construction Process 
To contain water in the basin, two large dams and seven saddle dams will be built. The saddle dams will enclose the northern side of the basin like a bull's rim. The cost of the reservoir is expected to be $4 billion, and constructing the dams, including the Sites Dam and the Golden Gate Dam, will account for most of the expenses. The saddle dams will also be substantial, with one plan to be 3,422 feet long. Two tunnels, 23 feet wide and 3,000 feet long, will also be built. The construction of the dams will require a significant amount of water to mix concrete, which could amount to 1 million gallons of water per day for four years. Other significant tasks include buying land from local owners, demolishing structures, removing septic systems, clearing trees, moving topsoil, and relocating two private cemeteries. About 15 families residing in the town of Sites will need to be relocated, and the project's cost will include acquiring private properties. In a unique twist on reservoir construction, the upcoming Sites Reservoir in California will be built off-channel, away from the river, using pre-existing canals and a minimal amount of new conveyance. According to project manager Jim Brown, about 160 miles of existing canals will be utilized to transfer water into and out of the reservoir, and just 20 miles of new conveyance will be built. To power the water pumps, the project will use hydroelectricity generated by the dam's outflow and a planned solar array. Unlike other large reservoirs in California such as Shasta, Oroville, and Hetch Hetchy, which were built by damming large rivers, sites will be a unique off-channel reservoir. During storms, water will fill the reservoir and canals and pipelines will deliver the water to its destination. For the environmental impacts, the site's reservoir, since it is an off-channel reservoir, may have negative impacts on fish and wildlife in the Sacramento River. Environmentalists are concerned about the feasibility and operation of the reservoir and worry that it could worsen the already endangered Chinook salmon population. The impact will depend on how and when the water is diverted from the river to fill the reservoir. Since this is the case, plans are already being made to tackle it. The final report addressing potential environmental impacts will be released May 2023. The benefits of this reservoir are far-reaching. One of the most notable economic benefits of this reservoir is its potential to increase agricultural productivity. Farmers will no longer be scared of drought as the site's reservoir will provide a reliable source of water for irrigation. Farmers in the region may be able to grow more crops and increase their yields. This increased productivity can lead to more jobs in the agricultural sector, as well as increased revenue for farmers and their surrounding communities. In addition to boasting agricultural productivity, the construction of this reservoir can also create jobs and stimulate economic growth through the development of new infrastructure. The construction process itself can require a significant amount of labor, including engineers, construction workers, and support staff. Additionally, once the reservoir is completed, ongoing maintenance and management may also require staffing. The reservoir will also provide a source of clean energy through the development of hydroelectric power. How excited are you about this project? The people of California are finally going to have a remedy to the problem of drought and flood that has ravaged the country for so many years. Do you think this will finally be the solution to the drought? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.